Good morning from the Avari Boutique residence here in Moulton. Now I have just spent three nights here at the property and I've been pleasantly surprised. It's not often, okay, normally I review five star hotels, so it's always easier to go up than down in stars, just like it's always nicer to have more money than less money. But I was really pleasantly surprised here. So I'm going to show you my room, just nice and big. And the restaurant, there's one restaurant and a gym. And basically give you a few tips on, uh, not tips, I'm just gonna share a few of the, the features of the property with you. Oh, if you're a foreign guest, I'm also gonna share at the end, this is the first time in Pakistan that I've had to have armed security with me when I've done my sightseeing. Honestly, so I guess I didn't do my research well enough, but no one shared that information with me. Not any of the tour guides or the tourism board or the hotel itself when I made the booking. Um, and I'll share that at the end because I was really upset about it at first, but in the end, it actually turned out to be kind of a nice thing. So do stay tuned. Now, my name is Angela Carson. I put out videos a couple times a week on the best places to eat, drink, play, and stay in Asia. Today that is in Punjab, in Pakistan, at the Moulton Avari Boutique property. All right, now, as you can see, my room is, well, it's as big as the rooms that I've had in the five-star hotels, honestly, um, even bigger than one of them. It's also surprisingly well-appointed. So the chair at the desk is a nice swivel leather chair. There's really nice um, added touches too, like the crockery for the tea set is a really nice, like uh, looks like a hand-painted, cups probably not hand painted but it looks that way and there's also a nice uh like pottery tray that the water and glasses are on here on the desk it's very nice there are two types of pillows which i always love there's one that's softer and then another synthetic harder one it also had very comfy bedding i slept well both nights and I cannot believe I'm saying this, but this three-star hotel is the only one in Pakistan so far that has a trigger on the remote that actually allowed me to put heating on easily in my own room. There was one other five-star hotel, but the gentleman had to come and do something with it. Um, I think it was the Marriott in Islamabad. But this one is just a nice modern, hold on. So. There it is. <laughs> Just a nice modern unit in the room. Hold on. And I was warm last night. Oh, I was warm all three nights. And that was amazing because in every other property so far since my arrival, I've asked for a space heater, which they have brought to the room. And that's how I've stayed warm at night but it was great to just be able to monitor and, and have that myself to be able to choose the temperature I want and well done, well done Avari team. Now, like I said, there is one restaurant, but they do have a variety of cuisine, although I'm really cuckoo for Pakistani food, so I just kept ordering Pakistani. Um, there was, uh, I ordered room service and had their doll of the day, and I didn't know that that would come with a, well, it said salad, but I didn't think it would, I thought it would be like a tiny thing. So I had also ordered a salad, that was wonderful. Then last night, I actually, I had been out all day in Moulton. I had only had breakfast and I was starving. So like 5.30 p.m. I rolled up at the hotel and just went straight to the restaurant. And I had, I had a salad again. This was their green salad, which was yummy. And then the mutton karachi, which is the house specialty. And that was delicious. It was perfectly cooked. It was tasty, it was spicy. Um, you can order it non-spicy as well, but I, I really like spicy food. Hey, yeah, I've just realized that that's true. I do like spicy food. Normally, I just think I've lived in Asia long enough in different countries where all the food has always been spicy so I can deal with it. I think I prefer it. Hey, okay. Sorry, that was a weird side note. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right, there's no alcohol update here because you know it's a three-star property they're not going to have a drinks menu in the room or a liquor license because i'm imagining that that's quite a spendy endeavor but here's my update on the security requirements so i honestly didn't understand that in south punjab that there is a requirement for foreigners to have security with them now i had a special a tour guide with me who I am have contracted myself I'm paying for this isn't supplied I'm, I'm not being uh, sponsored by the tourism board so for me when they said oh you need someone with you I thought ah, Misha will be great yeah that's not what they meant they meant like seriously armed security guards but what I've learned is that it's not because Moulton is unsafe or Bawalpur is unsafe or any of the areas of South Punjab are unsafe but for me, it affected me and it busted my mood in the morning because when I came down at 11 o'clock and then management said, you can't go, we can't let you leave unless you have security. Do you have security? And we're like, so it was, they did call the police, the police escort did come. And at the beginning I was pretty cheesed off because I'm a very independent traveler and Pakistan is safe. and. Creating videos trying to promote tourism when all of a sudden I'm being forced to use security looks like the opposite of a safe country. And I know that it's not for the reasons that people are going to assume when they watch my videos and they see that I'm being followed um, by a car with men with guns. It just, I really hope that this changes soon because the country and the people are so wonderful and this law was put in place for a very different reason. So perhaps have a caveat or some kind of like addendum to the law. I don't know the legal term for that. Um, that would allow tourists and travelers and documentarians to travel around and do what they wanted because I found myself not stopping at all the places. Like I saw there was street food on the side of the road and he had these sweet buns and there was something in a big like walk. and. I wanted to stop, but I knew if I stopped, it was going to be us stopping, plus them stopping, and then they're going to get out, and then it just turns into a kerfuffle. So anyway, uh, this has made the video quite long, um, but I do want to tell you in advance to just book your security. Today I'm leaving at 11 a.m. I think it's like 10.45 right now. And I called down at 7 o'clock, and I said, look, I'm leaving at 11. I'm going to travel to Bawalpur. I guess they're sending someone with us on the hour and a half, two hour drive to Bawalpur, which is just wild to me. I, I, it's just not necessary. It's, it's not necessary, but okay. Just book it in advance because we ended up having to wait about 40 minutes um, just for the police to arrive, which makes sense. I mean, they're not just standing outside the Abari waiting. So anyway, guys, I had a great time at Abari. Okay, and here's a pro tip for you. There are no carpets, carpeting in the, um, in the, on the guest floors. And my guess is that it's quieter here on the second floor where I am than down below. Um, you do hear guests, it's a, like it's a Pakistani thing. The guests, when they're staying in multiple rooms, they'll leave their doors open and like yell at each other, which I've not experienced anywhere else really. Um, so there's only a few rooms up here on the second floor. So try and book on the second floor. Uh, again, I am in, so stupid, 207. I can never remember. Um, and this was a great room. You'll love it. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video, which is, ooh, it should be my first Bawalpur video. So I will see you in the next one, guys. Ciao.